Yes guys, welcome back to the channel. So this morning we are at it again. I see him spot we are dive out from last time we go so this time we are go down there so you yeah, don't know as usual I'm here Mikey there here Mikey up there so So guys just stay tuned and watch our one I wanna I got nice guys action time hello Mikey got out there this evening so we are going to hello so we ask God for bless and guide me today again. Alright. Come in the water now, guys. Alright. In the shallow, I saw this huge spotted eagle ray. It came to say hello, then it left. My spear gun wasn't set as yet. So this was the first set for the morning. And off we go, guys. This was the first attempt I made to spear a fish. I saw a pink parrot here. I didn't realize that it was more than one. When I got close, that's when I realized right here. You see that, guys? There are so much of them swim up there, so. Right now, you know, guys, I'm so excited, you know. Yeah, man. Yes, guys, whenever I come into the water, I'm always excited. I love what I do, guys. So I didn't get any chance there, so I move on. This was my first fish. I want you guys to tell me what type of fish is this. These fish are very wild, but if you dive on them the right way, they are easy to spear. As you can see there, guys, it has two colors. It's black and white, but whenever you spear them and look up close, they have different colors. They are very colorful. So what type of fish is this, guys? See in there, guys? Let me know in the comment section. Before I could take it off the spear, I saw a lovely butter jack. I made a dive on it, but it, it didn't stop. I didn't get any chance with it. So right here, guys. I'm going for my second fishing, you know, guys. I second shot this me a boss, you know. You know, miss no fishing, you know, guys. Second shot, you know. I don't know. Second shot, two kill. Alright. Oh, you see that, guys? Yeah, man, the boy, I try hide from me, you know. But you know, so you can't hide from spear fishing brothers. See that, guys? Lovely fish. I saw a butter in here. It was a huge one. So I decided to spear it. But before I could reach, it went up in the rock. I didn't bother to look for it. I was planning on heading back to the surface. While planning to do so, I saw this jack and I pursued it, but I didn't get any chance with it. So I just head back for surface. I saw red belly here feeding. It was past lunch time, so I'm not sure why it's still feeding. Seems as if it's trying to get fat. I don't want it to get too fat, so I took it out, guys. This was a third shot, and I got my third fish. So that's three shots and three fish so far. I had to grab this one because I didn't trust the shot. However, it was a good shot. So at this point, I have three fish. So that's three from three. A good start, guys. I saw a grunt here. It went underneath this hole. Every time I come here, guys, I normally see this grunt. But I haven't gotten a chance with it as yet. So today, I thought it was my lucky day, so I made a slow dive. When I got down, I didn't see it, but I saw some queen mullets on the other side. Some huge ones was there, but they weren't circling. I took a shot, 
but I only graze one, so I head back for surface. I speared this parrot, but I didn't record the shot because I made a random dive. I also speared this snapper. This was a random dive as well. I was checking for lobsters and it came up on me. I couldn't resist guys. I had to give it what it was looking for. This pink fire got the news. It heard that I was looking for fishes that were feeding beyond lunch time. So that one didn't carry it some away from me. Just as I surfaced, I saw these yellow tails. Mikey was scaling fish because he saw them. I saw a lot of them right here. I think it was about five of them. I started to set my other rubber because I was planning to take a long shot at one. But just as I died, they started to swim away from me. So we didn't get any chance with them. These fish are very, very wild guys. Wild sting in the sea. Yes, guys. So it's hide and seek time. Parrot is here playing hide and seek, guys. So he's doing the hiding and I'm doing the seeking. So I'm going to cover my eyes and count to three now. One, two, three. Don't know it go. Ready or not. Here I come. Boom slap. Hero that gun boss guys. Yeah man. You hear that? I'm fine him guys. You know what's my bad point and see. Just be with me guys. Let me surface and show you the boy I try from me guys. Where am I trying? The surface guys are showing no one go. Alright, so see you boy here now guys. Gotcha. Yeah man, I think we don't show no. I'm not gonna show him to you guys. Alright. This parrot was also speared off cam. I made a random drop and it's some up on me. Right there, I was showing off my catch. So that's the catch so far, guys. Some nice one of your fish. The nice looking real good to dig. I saw another eye in here, guys. This one was out in the open. When it saw me coming, it started to swim away. For these fish, they are not wild. It's easy to spear them. It was hiding behind a tree. I took a shot at it and I did spear it. You see it there guys. Mikey speared this fish and it escaped. So I made this dive to give it a second shot. It started a race with me. But when it saw me coming, it started to play another game. It was playing hide and seek. That was my favorite game. See that guys? I saw where it was hiding. And I gave it a nice shot, guys. This was a shot in the tail because I could only see the tail. But it was a good holding shot. I was looking for Mikey there to give it to him. When we are diving, guys, this is how we shoot. We shoot together to assist each other. We always have each other box, guys. If a fish escape from me, you will do the same. That is how we dive, guys. This fish, guys, won the race. It gave me a donkey lens, guys. I couldn't catch it back. If you don't know what I mean, leave a comment asking me, and I'll respond to you, guys. That's a Jamaican term, donkey lens. We're back to hide and see now guys. That last fish tired me. I cannot manage any more race. But this fish, this fish was playing hide and seek, not knowing I am the best at hide and seek. I took a shot at this fish and I did spear it. It got a good shot. So I started to look around me to see if I saw anything else swimming up on me. Then I head for surface. It was more than one of them, so Mikey started to chase the other one. So I just added this one to my string.
Mikey saw a snapper here. He made a dive on it and it's some away from him. So I started to give chase. Let me slow that down for you guys so you can see it. Look where the arrow is and you will see it. Mikey said that one could have weighed about 10 pounds. He made a dive on it but it swam off before he could get a shot. I didn't see it clearly so I couldn't tell how big it was. This is what happened now guys. I started to turn on the engine on it. But guess what happened when I did so? It turned on a bigger engine guys. So it kind of left me like a gunshot. So I didn't see it and the water was dirty. The camera is showing you as if the water is clean but it's really dirty. This was a red belly. I made a dive on it. When I got close, it started to race. I wasn't in for that. So I left that one alone and went back for surface. I saw another red belly here. I was trying to sneak up on it, but it saw me come in and started to swim up and down, swimming from left to right. I wasn't in for that, so I left that one alone. I'll catch it another time. Today is his day. I saw two squabs here. I made a dive to spear the bigger one. The bigger one swam off. So I started to focus on the smaller one. It swam off as well. The bigger one came back in sight. I tried to spear it. It swam off. I started to focus back on the small one. I took a shot. Just as I pressed the trigger, it moved. As you can see, I slow it down for you guys. Yes guys, they had a plan. They tried to dizzy me. So that is why I couldn't get any of them. They were playing games. This dive was for another red belly. I was seeing quite a few of them today. But they weren't giving a lot of chances. Even though I speared some of them. This one was in for the race. It was speeding at first. When it saw me, it did off. I couldn't catch this one but so this is that guys a lot of times you have to be chasing the fish to spear them so spear fishing isn't as easy as it seems you have to be holding your breath and chasing fish at the same time so it's not easy guys and while you're doing so, you have to be looking out for sharks as well. Sharks will want to take your fish. Right here, I saw a moonshine snapper. I speared it and I saw a blue pink. So right there, I was showing it to Mikey. So this is what I call a moonshine snapper guys. What do you call it in your area? Mikey started to chase the blue thing. He didn't catch it up back. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of my string. There it is. Yeah. So let's go back on the end now. This dive was for another red belly. They are out in numbers today. We've seen a lot of them today, guys. It was in between these rocks. I took a shot at it and I spear it. it. But guess what guys? It tore off. But don't worry guys, I'm gonna find it back later on. After I set up my spear gun, I saw Mikey, he made a dive. He saw a huge looping, but it's some away from him. I saw where it went and was hiding. So I made this dive to spear it. If you look closely guys, you will see it there. I took a shot and I did spear it. This was a lovely shot. Look right where the spear pint is. You will see it. You see how they hide guys? Yes guys, that's how they tend to hide from us. A lot of times, if you are not looking good, you will swim past them. This was a good shot. This fish couldn't escape. So I just head back for surface with it. After I surfaced, I called Mikey and gave it to him. As I said before guys, this is how we work. Even though he didn't spear it, it was his fish. Hey 
Hey guys, guess who I found? Guess who I saw right here trying to escape again? It was the same red belly I just speared and it tore off. It was trying to escape me again. But it was unlucky this time. It got a good shot the first time. But because it was flicking around on the spear, it tore off. That tends to happen a lot of times, especially whenever you spear them in the belly area. They are really selfish to me. So you have to give them a good shot. See him guys? I got him. Yes, totally I'm gonna get him. That's Mikey heading back to circles. He took a shot at a red belly as well, but he didn't get it. So he gave me his string and made another dive. While he gave me his string, I was there recording both strings. Let's take a nearer look at what Mikey is doing. Yes, guys, the boss has searched for the red belly. Look at him go, guys. You see that guys, you have to search a lot of times. Spear fishing is not easy. But for me, I enjoy doing it. So it's like nothing to me. Mikey saw this coconut. It seems this coconut had a lot of hair because it shed out. So he started to fool around with it. Yeah. We saw a lot of them today. I bumped into a lot of them. We were swimming against the current. So a lot of them bumped into my head. They even frightened me more than once. A lot of seaweed was there as well. So we had to swim through some seaweeds. This jack seemed to be hunting. But while it was hunting, I was hunting it. I did spear this jack and I got it. Do you want to take a look at this jack guys? Let me know. Do you want to see him? Okay. Tada! There you go. I saw a chunk here. I was planning to spear this one for a friend. I made the dive and I did spear it. But guess what guys? This fish bite me. I know these fish bite, so what we normally do, we normally cut their mouths. But because Mikey saw a lot of pink parrot and started to call me, I didn't do so, so I just string him. So while I made a dive on one of the pink parrot, it bit me on my hand. Look at him guys, these fish are dangerous, they'll bite you. So you have to be careful whenever you spear them. Right here, I made the first dive on the pink parrots. It was a lot of them. We saw multiple beds of them, but they weren't given any chance. Just as I was about to fire right here, this one swam off and everything swam off. I chased them. They led me to one that was hiding. I took a shot at it, it was between this rock and I did spear it but this one was smaller than the rest but it was still of good size Mikey started to give chase to the rest of them see that guys, it's uh, like a engine boat so I just head for surface and string this one after spearing this one I swam towards Mikey, I realized he speared one as well, but it was one of the smaller ones. The bigger ones were very wild, so neither of us got any chance with any of the big ones. Right there, I was watching Mikey, he speared a jack, it was a nice jack. I glimpsed something right there, so I made a dive to search a rock. I saw a yellow fin, I thought it was a snapper, but when I got down it wasn't a snapper, 
I'm not sure what they call these fish. But they are some small fish. They, they are black and they have yellow on their fins. The camera didn't catch it good. Because he was in the dark. I saw a squab here. So I made a dive to spear it. But this squab wasn't taking any chances. Water was dirty, so it seems as if they weren't taking any chances. Release little movement and they are gone. I was chasing it though, but I still didn't get any chance with it. It went underneath that rock and it from me. So I just said for surface. Right here. I saw another lovely squab, it went underneath this rock. Due to it being a huge one, I made a dive on it. When I got down, I saw it and I took a shot guys. And I speared it. It was flicking around a lot, so I decided to grab it. When I got close, it seems as if it was a good shot. While we were heading in, I saw a nice mountain snapper here. It was some away from me and I didn't see this rock. I made a dive to search for it. When I got down, I realized that the hole was deep. I told Mikey about it. He made a dive as well. He told me that this hole is a very bad hole. It's very deep and concrete and those stuff live in it. So we just left that fish. And that was the last dive. Yes, guys, land. Follow for the catch out, guys. Look at this catch now. Yes, guys, so we just come in. <laughs> so, see my catcher. It's a nice one, a plate fish, guys. Yeah, man. See there? A nice fish, guys. And I see Mikey catcher. Yeah man, nice fish we get today guys. So see two of them come by now. Fish for days. Oh my god, this heavy. Mm. Yes man, you see that guys watch it. Yeah man. Fish for days. Yeah them pretty yes guys. String them pretty man. Yeah. Beautiful strings. So thanks for watching guys and please remember to like, share and subscribe. I'm out. So that's the end of the video guys. Thanks for watching. And please remember to like, share.